Hello, I'm just doing this short video on a very special day. Today, the 14th of May, 2020, we remember Leah Sharibu, this amazing woman who was young lady, I should say, who was held captive amongst 110 other girls in Dabji, in Bonu State. She refused to deny her faith. And because of that, she was held captive. What would you do if Leah was in your position, if she was your daughter? We must not forget her. Today, she is 17 years old. We don't know what is happening to her, but we must not forget her. We must celebrate her. She's somebody's daughter. She's a heroine of the Christian faith. She's a, an example for every one of us. Today, we have to pray that she be set free. Today, we are celebrating her birthday and we say, Happy birthday, Leah. God bless you. God keep you. The angels are celebrating with you today because you refuse to deny your faith. You are a heroine of the gospel. <laughs> Yes, happy birthday to Leah. And do you know, guess what? Leah actually shares the same birthday with my late mother, a woman that lives for purpose. You can see that Leah's life is significant. She is a young lady whose life serves a purpose for every one of us. She shares the same mother. Today we remember my late mother. Today would have been her 89th birthday. Leah shares the same birthday with her. And do you know what? I am so passionate about this issue of Leah that I have dedicated two books to Leah. We must not forget Leah. If you can get hold of these books, you can have it in front of you to always remind you of this exceptional young lady. There are lessons about life we can learn from her example. And that is why I've written this book. There are not a lot of life's lessons that are enumerated in this book that we can learn. Even the, the story of Leah is an example for every one of us. What we do do in the face where your life is at risk, where you have to choose between your Christian faith and being set free. She chose to stand for the truth. She refused to deny her faith. And she has spent three, she spent her 15th birthday in captivity. She spent her 16th birthday in captivity last year and today. It's her 17th birthday. We are celebrating. I know the angels in heaven are celebrating Leah today. So we cannot afford to forget her. Remember, Martin Luther said, Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. We must not be silent on the case of, 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 of Leah Shaibu. In fact, today, at this time, there is prayer going on on her behalf, organized around the globe. We cannot, the Christian body, is praying for Leah right now. And so we, we must not be silent in situations like this. Let's begin to do whatever we can. Use every influence we have to pray for her to be released. And I have also another book that I have written on accountability and governance in different countries. You see, this whole issue of oppressing people in, in different parts of the world is not just unique to Nigeria, different countries, there are issues of accountability and governance that we face. I've written, this book is there also available. You can get these books, all of them available on Amazon or from assurancepublications.com. Okay, thank you. And um, let's continue to pray for Leah. You can watch other videos of mine on Facebook, YouTube, and join me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to. Please, let's not keep silent. Let's continue to pray for Leah Shaibo. Today marks her 17th birthday. And we must remember to always pray for her. And um, as I said, right now, there is prayers going on on her behalf. And we can join that prayer right now on Zoom. That's the link there. If you want to, to join, um, you can take a snapshot of this. 
And if you want to join the prayer video going on right now on her behalf, we must put Leah on our daily prayer agenda. Let's not forget her. She's somebody's child. She's an amazing woman. Let's not be silent. Let's keep calling on the gates of heaven to remember Leah that she be released. Her parents, her mother, imagine if she was your daughter. How would you, how, I sometimes, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. I don't know how the mother sleeps at night. I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, and I know what it feels like. I can't even begin to imagine what I would do in her, in her mother's situation. Because she's not the daughter of a big man doesn't mean that we'll, we'll forget her there. God bless Leah. Today we celebrate her, and I know that the angels of heaven are celebrate her. Let's please share this video so that we can all remember an amazing woman. Listen, she is occupying the same place as Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I know that because she did not deny Jesus, gosh, her crowns in heaven are just too innumerable to mention. God will keep her. The angels of God will continue to watch over her, but we must play our part to always remember her in our prayer. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video. And let's not forget Leah Shaibu. She is somebody's daughter. God bless you.